this where Madame Arena's troop performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Almost. Almost in spring. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. I'll see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. 
Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Again. I, I didn't say nothing. So you're the ones. Oh, right, fat so. Look who we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? <laughs> right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic is a fucking witch. Get him! How long are you gonna make me wait? Oh, enough! Damn it, enough! Right. Ah, oh, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. And don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metana. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from Plowing Metana, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdera. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? Like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. <laughs> Got the wrong man. Ass kicking's what we do. <laughs> How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed romance. Spare you the first class. He'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on, same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Meta. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. 
<laughs> Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! You get such a lovely thrash in hell. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug, bugger likes. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, hey Al. Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful, yet... I do have more stage experience. Roll's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Hmm. Thanks. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. 
Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard. Beware, kill the beast if he shows, and a grateful queen shall reward your woes. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. <coughs> My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd meet, in deceit like liars. Tonight shall it end, be my wife, that's my plea. Our hearts torment over, we shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. T -t 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 Treason! Tis not wine, <coughs> but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark. Hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, 
beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals. And a surfeit of cakes. <coughs> Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. Show love for Dopplers. As well as for fish. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the God! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right. I mummers! Don't know the eternal fire's commandments. Blasphemers! All the of respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes. Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell in the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. Recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. Then I got word of a new mummy. Saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. I know Siri went back to Horsons to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers. But... Go down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt. 
When did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Guilt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. Or lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides... You're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Manga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Manga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. We could use a bit of support. Let me talk to Dijkstra. Catch him in a good mood and he just might lend us a few bodies. We'd manage. We would. We're just my lads. But if you miss Siggy that much... He's the one's got a soft spot for me. Said so himself recently. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. Oh, Geralt, Geralt, I fear I'd be more successful hunting a beast than you were on stage. Could be. You'd still be wiser not to try. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit, your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. I 
do. What do you want? Recently mentioned you, uh, have something of a soft spot for me. Gotta ask you a favor. Oh, that's quite the start, Geralt. What's it you want? Need to carry out an ambush. Could use a few of your men. An ambush? What's this about? Give me men who will survive the fight. They can tell you afterwards. <laughs> I like you, Geralt. That's why I'll give you not one, not two, but three of my best men. Three's enough. Then it's settled. Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And... You know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion? Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Gotta watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let us stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed, like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay, on one condition. I know, as soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Uh, not much happening just yet, and there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. Daisy's here to us. Shit. Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Road through here. Come on. Given me no choice. Prints are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Let's go.
Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, why? Something of the kind, Dash Boy. Turned left there. But where a wench you were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. See, you're a man well traveled, so tell me, should I beat me wench once a week or after? started limping. Barged into our hut, turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded himself inside. There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Where's this other way in? Aren't you curious? It's an ordinary tunnel, back way out in case of trouble. We don't let strangers in there. Show it to them, even. And they're... Oh, shut it. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. Can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice to do it. And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could ring your neck like a flat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Tank Rack Viscount Dalettenhoe. Viscount Kilmore. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Fire! Thought we heard something. What? No, no, no. You see, me and Dad, we go. Oh, Nerve. 
Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What? Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lass to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? 
Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Orson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Orson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Siri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Dorn Ep tonight, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Come on, go. Oi, Master Witcher, we've a gift for you. 